Hey everybody, it is post race day. It is Monday after race day and I get to do some pretty epic things today. I get to tell you I did a personal best and I shaved off 5 minutes and 18 seconds. Woohoo! It just felt good. It felt like it should. It wasn't a chore. It wasn't extremely arduous or sore. It just felt good. Like I said, I chopped 5 minutes and 18 seconds off my time from last year. Considering I didn't hit my original goal, that's fine. To chop any time off is totally amazing. So, my time this year in the 2014 Legs for Literacy is 45.36. Yay, me! I feel it today. The tops of my legs feel about twice the size that they actually are. And I feel like a walking zombie. I really do. I get to do one final thing. This is my race number from this year. See everybody? That's me, 743. This was me in 2013, 2849. I get to do something pretty epic. Sorry. Don't worry, I'm okay. I get to start year two. This race last year was my very first race and it marked my anniversary of running. Yes. So I get to cover up 2849 With seven three four. The next time I hope to be doing this is at Blue Nose. I am going through all the emotions today, really like it's it's hit me, but it really hasn't hit me. Just that I personal best my 5k time at the same race that I started with last year. It was pretty epic. I can't seem to get this. Oh. Let me. There. There. Let me get the blue nose one off. Yesterday it was 8 degrees above freezing. It was cold. Um, it wasn't the coldest weather I've run in. I have run in some minus temperatures, which is below freezing. So it's not completely the worst weather I've run in. It was actually clear, which was nice. It wasn't raining. And even at one point when I was waiting for some friends of mine to finish their full first full marathon, the sun even came out a little bit. So it was really nice. Um, yeah, I'm just... I'm over the moon. Like, I had an amazing time meeting people from a Twitter chat that I do called Run at Can, 
which is mostly Atlantic Canadians, but there are people from Ontario and other places around the world that pop in every once in a while to say hi and have connections or have maybe run races in the area. Or people from Atlantic Canada have run, say, for instance, races in Toronto. So I get to meet some amazing people. And getting back to the previous comment, um, this particular couple, and they know who they are if they watch this, um, divulged during one of our chats that Lakes for Literacy was their first half marathon in 2013. And they were planning and did their first full marathon this year in 2014. I was like a proud peacock, you know, just like, I, I just like a proud mom. I was beyond excited and it's, it's bringing me to tears. It's emotional. Like my mom's coworker, did a half marathon. Uh, someone I know through David's Tea did a full marathon and she's done them before but I've never seen her finish and I get to see her finish and I get to see people's half and full marathon finishes and I just look and I go, you know, you never know. One day that could be me. Not right now. But to see that particular couple finish their very first full marathon. Oh. I. It was an extreme pleasure for them to choose Moncton to do their first full in. I made a comment this morning about. you know, thanking them for choosing Moncton to do this and thanking everybody for coming because it, it, it meant the world. It really did. To see people I know succeed at something such as running is beyond. And for me to have personal best my 5K, it just... overwhelming it really is I think I'm more in shock than anything I did it 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 seven four three Love you guys to bits. Thanks for coming along the ride. It's been pretty rough, but you know what? In the last three weeks, regardless of the face of adversity, maybe I needed to take those three weeks and just be with myself and do what I needed to do to make sure I had a clear head because I succeeded. I succeeded and I saw just over double the amount of people finish after me. I was 903rd out of 1000, or pardon me, 1000, 1071 this year. The first year in 2013, there was only 876, or pardon me, 66, not 76, and I was 792nd. I saw people finish. Many kids, surprisingly, did their first 5K. It surprises me, yet it really doesn't. Because kids are pretty amazing that way. Oh, the stories to be had. Oh, the stories to be had. Thanks for coming along for 
race day, pre-race day, post-race day, and of course, the unveiling of the 2014 edition of Legs for Literacy, putting out my bib number, retiring my bib. It's been amazing.